Good morning, TFS. Welcome back to another edition of PTV News. I'm Mario Eisner. I'm Anna Today is September 22, 2016. PTV News starts right now. <laughs> So Harvest Festival is basically a competition that brings in bands from all across the state to come and compete and show their marching shows and pit them against each other in hopes of winning the first place spot. Um, that takes place on October 1st and it's usually a huge event that Plymouth hosts. That sounds pretty cool. Jeez, I hope it doesn't rain that day. Yeah, that's for sure. Maybe you can do a rain dance next week on the show. Oh uh, yeah, or maybe not. Well, stick around, you guys. We have our trivia question coming up with a big prize on the line this week. We'll be back with the second half of our show after this quick 30-second commercial John Glenn High School has asked to air right here on PTV. Halloween Fest is back! And this year, there's even more rides! Yeah! Cool. Friday, September 23rd through Sunday, September 25th in Whopper. With some big boom and fireworks! We're transforming John Glenn High School into a full-blown carnival midway. With kids' rides and big rides. Live entertainment. One gigantic garage sale. A petting zoo. We kick it off Friday with a huge parade. And the food is so good! Halloween Fest! Brought to you by TCU, RV Car Company, and Polygon. Halloweenfest.com. I'm Jesus Zay. I'm Jesus B. I'm more than say. I'm Devin Gritton. I'm Nicole with PTV Sports. Stay tuned for details. Welcome back to PTV News. Now it's time for a look at what's lined up for tonight on our sports rundown. At 4.30 p.m., the boys' tennis team is in NLC action on the road against Warsaw. At 5 p.m., the girls' soccer go head-to-head with Wallace here at home. Then, a half, half an hour later at 5.30, our ninth grade football team takes on the El Cabo Memorial Chargers here at home. From 6 to 7.30, the girls' basketball team has opened gym in the varsity gym. This week, the Rockies will hope to keep things going after losing a few weeks ago. This play, the Rockies will be playing Wallace Warriors here at home at 7 p.m. This game is sure to be a good one, so make sure to come out and support our Rockies. Oh, and by the way, this awesome graphic was created by Jesus Paca, who is one of our members on the graphic arts team. Friday night, the Plymouth Rockies host their NLC foe, Elko Memorial, at the Rock Pile. The Rockies fell behind in the first half, 17 to 0, but Tristan McMillan powered in from one yard out, putting the Rockies on the board, 7 to 17. 
The Rockies brought this play in 19 0 in the second half to win the game. Glenn moves from this record to 2 1 in the NLC and 3 2 overall. Last week's PTV Trivia Time question was How many gold medals did the U.S. win on the Rio Olympics? The prize winner of Donuts. So let's go in there and give the winners. Some Donut winners! You are winners! Trivia time, we are going to test your geology skills. The question is, what is the hardest natural substance on Earth? Do you know the answer? Call right now at a simple 1241. If you have already won this month, please refrain from calling to allow other classrooms to win. Again, the question is, what is the hardest natural substance on Earth? Call central 1241 now to try and win our surprise gift. Now get your taste buds ready because it's lunchtime. Today we will be having chicken alfredo, garlic breadsticks, broccoli, and fruit and veggies. Now, totally switching gears, here yeah, at the end of our show, we want to take a moment to remember Rylan Clark, a PHS student that we unfortunately lost Friday. Rylan was a member of the track and cross country team, and he truly knew how to put a smile on many of our faces. This has been a tough week, but we will get through this together. Rylan will be doing this. 